Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From the middle of nowhere. I think we're like uh, an hour or so outside of Cork City. So I'm not 100% sure if it's the town we're in, but my weather app says Kulavokig. <laughs> Apparently that's where we are. I think we mentioned this in our last video, but we had a couple people reach out over Instagram and they offered to take us around, kind of show us around the area, yeah. which is awesome because it takes all the work off of our shoulders. So we can yes. just kind of go around with them and they'll show us what to do and what to eat. And It's so nice because yeah. we don't have to be an expert on a place that we've never been to before for yeah. a bit. It'll be, it'll be really cool to just like see it from a local's perspective. Yeah, we don't often get to meet up with locals just because we're moving so fast. Um, our videos are always a little bit delayed, but their names are Mark and Lorraine and they should be showing up any minute and then we're gonna be off exploring the Irish countryside. It was looking so nice outside. We had an awesome sunrise over there, but now it's raining. The storms come so quick. They come and go, yeah. yeah. You can see the line right there. Just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Dang, and it looks well, I see some blue over there, so maybe it'll pass. Hey. Guys, this is Mark and Lorraine. Hey guys. <laughs> but they brought us a little goodie bag. You guys, look at all this stuff. You say it's all from Cork? Or the from Cork, Cork Market. The English Market, which yeah. is in Cork City. So, oh my gosh, chocolates. chocolates. What was so this thing again? So it's Tanora. It's only made in Munster, primarily in Cork. So you can right. to get it anywhere else in Dublin or awesome. anywhere else. Yeah. Well, excited so to try this stuff. Awesome, thanks. Tangerine flavor. <laughs> That drive was absolutely stunning. We made it to the town. It's called, uh, how do you say it? Guganbara. Guganbara. All right, but we're in this monastery that's in the middle of this little island on the lake. It's very cool. It's a pretty sick spot. So freaking windy though, you guys. <laughs> we're getting blown away out there. <laughs> Scared to go back outside. Yeah. And there's some really cool spots here. This place is neat. I like this a lot, it's very green. But you guys said these are like the uh, Stations of the Cross? Is that yeah. kind of how it works? Yeah, Catholic religion, each that you pray around around each yeah, station. And a lot of the churches that you go into, you'll see that they have those around the, the walls and the churches as well. This is a really awesome spot with the cross in the middle. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Starting to rain though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty windy too. Yeah. But plenty of places to shelter. take shelter. Yeah. <laughs> this is my cave. You stay over there. <laughs> I'm claiming it. We're running out of here because we don't have umbrellas. Get me out of here. Oh, oh hey. Got nasty. <laughs> Just, you know, quick, quick casual run back to the car. We found a little restaurant. We have not eaten yet, so we are very hungry. What time is it even? It's almost noon and we have not eaten breakfast. It's called a May Fitz, is that right? But I got some bacon and poached eggs, super simple. I also went with the full Irish. <laughs> I uh, I think my tummy ordered for me. I did the full, they had a mini Irish as well, but I went for the double everything. <laughs> you guys kept it a bit healthier. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. I didn't even I see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So some granola and then what is this, the porridge? Porridge, porridge. Yeah. Oh, oatmeal. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got black and white pudding. And white pudding. These guys were just saying what the difference is between those. What is it? I'm not 100% sure, but I think the black one has more like blood in it and the white one has like a lot more grains and be spicier tasting. I don't know if we've had the white I don't think before. we've ever had it. Yeah. Some nice bloody sausage in the morning, eh? <laughs> it does smell like a lot of spices in there, but almost like um, a hash brown or something. Much better than the black. Better than the black? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't usually like black pudding very much, so. <laughs> but I feel like I want to try it to compare. You could probably tell me that there was no meat in that and I would believe it because it's so like grainy and just really well seasoned in there. Oh, this one smells like cloves. Oh. Must be oh, pretty spicy. I don't think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, so the flavors aren't too different, or the I guess the textures aren't so different. They're both really salty, but the black pudding just tastes like it has a lot of clove in there. So it's kind of spicy, like almost Christmassy sausage. <laughs> and the other one is mostly just um, super savory with a lot of seasoning. Mm -hmm. 
So okay. we've drove down. Ah! Oh. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Way squishier than Never I mind. thought. Wow, that's really deep and squishy. <laughs> My foot's wet. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what Welcome I was trying to, to say beach. was that <laughs> we drove south of Cork to a town called uh, Kinsale, mm -hmm. but it's right on the coast, super picturesque. Oh I think it is a very, very popular place. You guys in the weather, look at this. It's sunny, it's yeah. not very windy. My hair is blowing, but only slightly. <laughs> we found this little beach inlet that they brought us to. Some dogs playing over there. It's very cute, yeah, very peaceful. And oh, he's got a little stick. <laughs> he's so happy. But I think we're gonna chill here for a minute and just kind of take in the sun. <laughs> and then we're gonna head and get something to eat. <laughs> oh my god. Let go? No. <laughs> We're just walking up to this fort over here. Is it called the James Fort? James Fort. Yeah. It's really cool. It's just kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of all this greenery. Yeah, That's I don't know awesome. that you would know it's here. There's no, it doesn't seem like any real path coming up to it. It's very neat. Do you know how old it is? No, actually. The sign didn't tell us anything, but we looked on our phones and it was 1600s, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's nine and a half. How convenient. A pub yeah, right nice. next to where we were having our walk. Oops a daisy, I guess we should go in. I'm trying the Beamish Irish Stout. Came highly recommended. Well, we all got <laughs> delicious stouts, so we can try them all. So Guinness, yeah. Murphy's, do a proper Beamish. cheers. Yeah, I think we're doing it right. And what did you cheers, get over there? Sidona. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, that foam is creamy. Woo! It is absolutely delicious. Super creamy. Irish for cheers is schlanta. Schlanta. Yeah, schlanta. schlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Happy oh, Christmas. Hello. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> happy Christmas. Yeah. Hello. Happy Christmas. Yeah. I'm the real yeah. Santi. You look it. <laughs> <laughs> you look the part. <laughs> the caution is killing me. <laughs> Bye, Santa. Bye. <laughs> Thanks very much. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Hey! Follow that Santa. We're supposed to be the Rangers. Turn to me! Did you tell Santa what you wanted? He came early this year because we've been such good boys and girls. But all we got was a lousy handshake. <laughs> These guys took us to a fish and chips van right smack on the coast. Yep. I'm so excited. I don't excited. think it can get any more fresh than that. I'm very excited. And we're going to try kibbling? Is that what you call kibbling. it? Kibbling. Yeah. Kibbling. Like, that's the fish. What is this fish? Check it out. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's pretty good. <laughs> We've got our fish and chips, y'all. I have my fish oh, and chips. They forgot to delicious. order theirs, though. I, guys. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, if you can eat all that, you can have it. Yeah, challenge accepted. Just but kidding, it, we got the sharing platter. It's actually freezing and windy out here, yeah. so I think we're going to go in the car. We found a table over here, so we're going to chance it with the wind and the seagulls. Well, there are a lot of seagulls. They're getting excited. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, car, maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're running to the car. The seagulls won today. The seagulls, yeah. Two seagulls. We have a ton of hake. And then we have the biggest load of chips down there. She coated it all in salt and vinegar, gave us some tartar sauce on the side. It smells so good and tangy. And it's so hot and steamy. Let's see how Irish fish and chips stack up. We've had English and Scottish. Yeah, and that's they... crazy. We've never actually had Irish fish no, and chips. No, it smells like fish and chips. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! <laughs> that's some good crunching. Ooh. I like it. That's good. <laughs> it's about as perfect as fish and chips can get. It's so creamy and nice and flaky on the inside, super crunchy and freshly fried on the outside. It's hot, lovely, salty, vinegary. Mm. Oh yeah. And on a huge bed of chips down mm -hmm. here. You guys gonna help us eat these? There's not a chance in hell we're eating all these. We'll give it a go. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll Between the four of us, we can uh, we can we'll do some yeah, damage. Yeah, for sure. They're absolutely delicious, but. <laughs> They're a little hot. Allison did not warm me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Kind of burned me, but totally worth it. The batter is super crunchy, and look how juicy that fish is in there. 
These people out here keep feeding the seagulls. You guys crazy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. They're gonna get inside. This is how the bird starts. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't quite finish it all, you guys. I'm gonna try to do some damage on this little guy, but it's one of those things that I just can't stop eating because it's so good. This is some of the top fish and chips that I've had. It's kind of neck and neck with uh, what we recently had in Scotland. Those were pretty, pretty damn good. But these are right up there. Look how flaky and juicy mm. and delicious these are, man. I can't stop eating them. I gotta stop so though. I'm gonna yummy. get sick, especially driving after this. <laughs> Goodbye fish, we'll meet again. One last little walk before the sun sets. What's the name of this area? The old Head of Kinsale. Old Head of Kinsale. All right. Man, it looks awesome. The sun's kind of setting over there. There's an old tower over here. Well, this spot's pretty incredible. <laughs> Check this out. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That's a little scary. <laughs> Luckily, this little pocket here isn't very windy, but it's very windy up there. <laughs> Man, we're gonna try to get a photo over here somewhere, though. I think if we can do it without falling yes. off. Yeah. We managed to get a shot from right over here. I think it turned out pretty good, but uh, we'll put it up on the screen and make sure you head over to our Instagram to see how all these shots are turning out. As usual, it's just uh. The Endless Adventure is our username, so you can type that on Instagram. Ah, okay, and I'm gonna put this away so I don't die. <laughs> See, See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. We have parted ways with Mark and Lorraine. Huge shout out and thank you to them. Absolute legends. Took us yes. all around the area, showed us all kinds of cool stuff. Guys, we're absolutely wonderful. We got to see so many amazing places and do so many things that we never would have found on our own. So yeah. thank you so much. It was awesome. They brought us this little care oh, package yeah. that we showed in the, this morning. They got us some fresh bread. They got us some spiced beef. And then potatoes, <laughs> Tato. which we have never had. <laughs> this little guy. Yeah. I never even heard of these. No. One thing I read is that you can do potato sandwiches, and so we're gonna do a version of that. So they said the proper way to do it is butter on white bread, and then you smash up potatoes on there, <laughs> which sounds amazing. I think we're gonna add the spiced beef to it, maybe some mustard, make it super gourmet. I hope that's okay. I think this is gonna be delicious. All right, let's make some sandwiches. Done. <laughs> what do you think? It looks like dinner. I'm so excited. <laughs> Taste test. Do you think it's gonna be bad? Uh oh. <laughs> it's so crunchy. <laughs> I feel like I'm a kid again. <laughs> Putting chips on my sandwich. You let us know your favorite way to eat a potato sandwich. Is it just the the butter and the chips? Yeah. Or the should crisps, we put I mean? more crisps on there or no? I don't know. We're just kind of winging it, guys. So it's a sad excuse. Also, that pepper beef in there is so good. That is amazing. I think we're gonna destroy these sandwiches. Then we're going to probably work while we're watching a movie because they have this huge TV. Check yeah, this out, you guys, with Apple TV, Look so we can just it. just mirror it over there. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us and exploring Ireland. I think we're gonna make one or two more videos here, and then we're gonna be headed back to the good old U.S. of A. Oh my God, it's happening so soon. Yes. Thank you again, Mark and Lorraine. We had such an amazing day. It was yeah. lovely. All right, it's sandwich, it's tato sandwich time. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>